By the way, look at this. Nair is following Eugenia Cooney, the anorexic chick. This is about to be mad hypocritical right here, okay? But I'll make this clip once and I'm never gonna do it again. So there's like a, there's a bit of redemption there because I know these other drama channels are just gonna keep milking it. They're just gonna cabo some of them. They're just gonna keep making videos about her over and over and over again. But it's like these, these people that make like the drama stuff, right? They're like, oh, Eugenia Cooney's getting worse and we need to do something to help her about it and someone needs to be in her life to to do something and it's like bro what the hell are you doing you you realize that every time you make a video cavos and these people every time they make a video on eugenia cooney she gets worse she will not get better if you keep making these videos by the way like you're preventing her from doing it and and to a certain extent it is her fault um but we're all also really weak and and jesus would forgive her for this kind of thing like, I'm not saying that um, she's in the right. What the hell is this? I wanna do some like basic uh, home math to explain to you. I'm not saying that like, that they're responsible for her suffering, right? For her mental illness, for her anorexia. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that they're definitely not helping and they're contributing to making it worse. They're at least a partially a part of it. All right, cool, we have paint pulled up. So here's what happens, all right? This is a cycle, okay? So, so we're gonna put the, the drama alert logo right here, okay? This is gonna represent every single drama channel. And then we're gonna put Eugenia Cooney right here, okay? That's her hair to represent that she's a girl. Now here's a cycle, okay? She gets, I'm gonna use green for attention. Girls nowadays don't understand the difference between positive and negative attention because the men in society are so fucking pathetic and inauthentic that they will give attention to girls for anything, not just, be, not just when they deserve it. The whole problem could be fixed if like a woman did something stupid and a man just ignored her. All the problems would be fixed, but men still wanna get these girls attention. And that's their biology. Like they can't avoid that. So they get positive attention from this, whether they know it or not, it feels like positive attention to them because it's attention. I go out, I ask people, is all publicity good publicity? And almost every single guy, well, they'll go in, like everyone will elaborate in depth, but their initial answer is no, not all publicity is good publicity. Because they see like Andrew Tate, Donald Trump, Alex Jones, whoever, right? They're like these people's lives have been ruined from bad publicity. Name one girl who's had bad publicity that's that's ruined her. When Jennifer Lawrence's nudes got leaked, everyone was like, oh my God, that's so, like no one ever brought it up to her or anything like that. But dude, her career skyrocketed. She became more famous than ever. In a way, there is some truth to it. Like there is some truth to all publicity is good publicity for girls. Like you can be a complete scumbag piece of shit that actively makes the world the worst place. But if you're famous enough, they'll, they'll call you Kim Kardashian and they'll be like, oh, you go girl, you know? So, they can't differentiate out of no fault of their own. And they get the, they get positive attention in this direction, right? It's conditioning. It's just basic classical conditioning, I guess. She thinks to herself like, and then she goes like, I must have more because it's hedonic adaptation. You can never have enough. The moment you get the amount of attention that you're getting at that very moment, you feel like you want more and then you want more and you want more. And it's, it's an insatiable drive for, for, for lust and greed and envy or whatever it might be, right? It's all sin. It's all sin, it's pride or whatever. That's what drives all these mental illnesses. And so she goes, I want more and more attention. So it's a very clear formula in her head. What do I need to do to get more attention? Well, I need to be skinnier. So then she goes and she does this and she gets even skinnier. And then she gets even skinnier. And all along the way, drama alert and the rest of them are giving her even more, 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 more attention for like, oh my God, she's getting so much worse. She's getting so much worse. Yeah, in her mind, she can't recognize that as anything different from, oh, you're so great, you're so beautiful, whatever. In her mind, it's all the same. And and this is not just true of girls. This is like the, the feeling of getting this much attention is true of everyone. And so she feels like she's mogging everyone, basically. Like she's the center of attention at all times in every room that she walks into and that makes her feel good. And then what happens is people wisen up a little bit and they go like, okay, we have to fight what's actually wrong here. Like this girl is suffering. Like, think about this for a second. She can't have kids. Impossible, she cannot have kids. She is not nourished enough to have kids. Like, it's all fun and games right now, right? Think about when she's like 35, 40 years old, how, how much she's gonna be like, fuck, th like, this has ruined my life. This game has ruined my life. Why did I allow this? And this is coming from a skinny guy. Like, look at me, bro. I'm a skinny dude. 
And I know it's wrong for me to be skinny. And I know I have to do everything I can to, to build myself up. Because I also got attention for, for being skinny. Like people looked at me and they noticed me and I was pretty fucking well known actually. Like people would give me nicknames and all this stuff and all like a huge part of, of like my identity when it came to people roasting me and having nicknames for me and all this stuff was the fact that I was skinny. It gave me a distinction from everybody else. And so eventually someone wisens up and whether it be the channels and all the YouTubers that go like, okay, this is wrong, it's time to stop. Or it could be her and her team and her family going like, you have to learn to uh, ignore all these things and, and learn to find happiness and get attention in other ways, right? No one's meant to be able to handle this kind of attention. No, the human brain was not wired for this. It's, it's absurd and it's a drug and it's an extremely powerful drug, more potent than any drug on planet Earth. Fame, strongest drug on the planet. Or maybe she might actually, and this already happened once, where she gets a little bit bigger, she gets a little bit of meat on her bones, and then she gets attention for that. Like, oh, she's recovering, she's recovering, she's doing good. And then what'll happen is, when she starts doing good, and when she starts looking a little more normal, right? A little more back to reality, all of that, all of that attention gets dispersed and goes into other stupid shit, you know? Fucking like Boozy Tube and Neon and I don't know, Nadia and iDubs probably did another fucking stupid thing as usual, you know? Eugenia is there with her fucking dick in her hand, just like left, like, wait, where, where did everyone go? And she's doing better physically for sure. But now all that, that conditioning is playing into it and she's going, I, I need that thing again. It's not even that I need more, it's I used to have this thing that gave me so much that got rid of my anxiety and got, got rid of all the bad feelings in my head and now it's gone. I need that back, I need that drug back. And then she goes right back to being skinny. This is how you could fix the problem. You could break the cycle right here. Drama channel with all these people, you could break the cycle by, I know it's painful and I know it's gonna be hard on her, right? But she has to learn to find meaning from an, an identity from a different source other than the fact that she's skinny. Because otherwise, otherwise, what happens is these drama channels go like, ooh, back to her, back to her. Send the attention back to her. Oh my God, she's getting worse, she's getting worse, she's getting worse. And then the cycle continues and she gets even worse. Now there is a nuanced sort of uh, negative attention that you can give to her, which will push her away from this kind of thing, but that's not allowed on YouTube. Your channel will get terminated for bullying and harassment. So this is really the only solution. In a, in a true free market of content and ideas where anyone could say anything, these kinds of problems can be fixed by creating and, and being a good artist and being a good person online. But because criticism is not allowed on YouTube, there is no being a good person and being compassionate like that. You just have to not be a bad person. Being a good person doesn't even exist on the internet anymore. Like you can't, you can't push her and say like, hey, fucking get to it, you know? I mean, I might get fucking, I might get my channel shut down for making a video if I go further than what I'm saying right now, if I say what I'm actually supposed to say to her that would actually do something good for her, I will get my channel terminated. And like these channels are like, I know I know these guys are gonna, if they ever see this clip, they're gonna watch it and be like, oh, it's whatever, it's not a big deal. Like the attention, dude, the attention you're giving her is fucking, it's massive. It's millions and millions of subscribers from hella different sources. Like it's not, it's it's no joke. And, and the way people treat her, like, oh, this might sound really stupid. Maybe I'm delusional because everybody else seems to not have any problem with the way the internet treats Eugenia Cooney. But I'm, I come from like a skinny, I know the fucking health problems of being that skinny. I used to be way skinnier than I am right now. I graduated high school, graduated, I got kicked out of high school, 18 years old, six feet tall and 88 pounds. So I was obscenely skinny. There were girls that were like four foot 11, four foot 10, that were 90 pounds, that were like seen as like the small, and they were heavier than me. Like dude, everyone might, in her life, could be doing everything they can. Like you think this is a small deal. You think like, oh yeah, she should just fix this shit and, and um, it's on her, right? I don't think you realize how powerful this kind of attention is, how like disruptive it could be to someone's life. All of her parents and her friends and family and all these people, she could get therapy for years and years and years and get better and better and better. And then the moment fucking any of these drama channels, a Cheeto or, or, or any of like Bo Blacks or any of these people, the moment they make another video on her, I guarantee you it's back in the cycle. 
I'm telling you, dude, fame is such a strong drug. It counteracts every medication, every therapist on the planet, all of them. They cannot compete against the drug of fame. And these people, like, they're like, because they don't take it seriously, they think it's not a serious issue. But them not taking it seriously is precisely what makes people like Kavos and them seem like they have such little humanity. Like, they look at these people like they're fucking zoo animals. Like, stop doing this shit. Straight up, it's inhumane. Like, you could say, oh, dehumanizing. I fucking hate the word dehumanizing. But that's what it is. It's inhumane to treat real people like zoo animals. Like, oh, what a fascinating creature. Look how skinny she is. That's what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They, they say they have this facade, like, like, you know, those charity companies that like give away cars, like, oh, we're doing it for a good cause. Yeah, no, you're fucking not. Like, everyone knows your company exists, so that way you can give away cars. And everybody that goes to your company to like buy things for raffle tickets to get to win these cars are not doing it to donate to charity. They're doing it to win the car. Like, we all know what's happening here. You could, oh, court, the, the court of law is registered, to, yeah, no. In the real world, with our own minds, let's be honest here, we all know what's happening. When you make these videos on Eugenia Cooney going like, oh, we ha someone needs to help her, like, you're saying that as a way to protect yourself. But really, you're making those videos for the spectacle. You're making those videos to get the views. That's actually what it is. And don't even try to deny it. We all know the truth. Like, don't perpetuate this cycle anymore. This is mental illness. Anorexia is, is a mental disorder. It's a psychological disorder, and it's what she has. Genuinely, like, as much as people might not take this seriously, if, if drama channels keep, anytime she does anything that steps out of line, whether it be getting more skinny or putting on a little bit of weight or anything like that, anytime she steps out of line from being severely malnourished like she is right now, and then they keep reporting on it, they are perpetuating that cycle of anorexia. They are aiding and abetting in her mental illness and it will ruin her life, straight up. Everyone around her probably doesn't give a fuck about her because they're probably making a lot of money from her name, right? Selling makeup palettes and all this shit. But genuinely, y'all are evil if you're doing this. Like, this is a girl's life that you are potentially throwing in the fucking trash, like destroying her entire life for views and money and merch sales. It's pathetic and, and it's time to stop. We're not allowed to give um, any sort of critical reinforcement or anything like that on YouTube because of their stupid policies. So any reinforcement, any criticism at all always will come across as positive reinforcement, as as a reward, as a as a candy for your good behavior. All of it will. So the only way to not do the wrong thing, there's no way to do the right thing, but the only way to not do the wrong thing is to cut off the situation completely and just ignore her channel, ignore her progress, ignore all that stuff and let her live her own life. Because look at this, she fucking, she's still like posting on her story. Every day, if, it, if it'll show up, it, there's a post, there's a, it's not showing up though. TikTok, Twitch, verified. This should not be the case. She should be off social media, like completely. Meanwhile, you got this fucking, the, the spawn of Satan on YouTube, Jeffree Star, who like needs to be put in a mental hospital that she's promoting, and then her own links right here. You see what I'm saying? The way that people are watching her, this is like an online zoo. They're fascinated with the spectacle of her. It's very clear to see the way that people are benefiting, benefiting, I would say taking advantage of not benefiting, but is gross and pathetic and coming from a, from an ex skinny person, never anorexic, but like an ex skinny person who experienced somewhat of what it was like, never to this degree, but somewhat of what, of what it was like to have people have this surface level identity of me as the skinny Indian dude, I'm telling you, genuinely I have empathy, like that is a a life of never ending suffering. And, and if you actually care about this person, if you actually have a bit of compassion in your heart, you will ignore her socials, never talk about her ever again, and just let her live her own life and completely reject her existence from the internet entirely.